There's actually two different ways that you can hook up batteries in parallel. There's the correct way and the incorrect way. Uh, and the reason why I made this video was because I wanted to show you guys what the correct way is to do it. Uh, many times I see it done the incorrect way and it's almost as easy to do it correctly as it is to do it incorrectly. This looks like the most common sense way to do it, but I'll show you another way. So what I've done is I've made a couple of drawings. I've labeled one set of batteries method A and one set of batteries method B. In method A, the battery cable goes from battery two to battery number one, then to the source, and so does the positive cable. It goes from battery two to battery number one, and then to the source. And so the problem with this is that it actually causes more resistance in battery one than it does in battery two. In other words, battery one will get more discharged over time than battery two will. And especially when you're going backwards, when you're charging them, what's going to happen is if you look at the way that that picture is drawn, you can see that it's almost like battery one needs to be filling up as it fills up battery two. So the internal resistances affect this and it makes it so that over a period of time, you will end up with your batteries working differently. Over a period of time, you'll end up with battery number one working harder and working more than battery number two. One way of looking at this is to think about it that battery number one is going to get exercised more than battery number two, and it's going to wear out faster. So there is a way to equalize these and make it so that battery number one and battery number two both will always get the same amount of exercise. They'll always be equalized. They will always be charging at the same amount and discharging at the same amount. So the way that we do this is instead of connecting to the source just from battery one, we connect either the positive or the negative. In my drawing, I have it as the negative terminal from battery number one connected to the source, which leads off to the right, and the positive connected to battery number two. 